Just gonna eat one of these quick so, just in case something bad happens. Okay. Oh, I'm super nervous. So this is the Lucky Block mod. This is a website called Tinker. It's how you make Minecraft mod, which is like just a little extra thing that you can add on to Minecraft. And so right now, I'm going to log on to Tinker, which is the server we're trying out our mods on. There's five possibilities I programmed it to have. It, there's 13 different things that can happen. All in all, there's 25 different things that can happen. So one that can ha thing that can happen is that it will say it's on your screen and a creeper will show up and lightning will strike it. I think another one is you get a diamond sword and a stack of diamonds and then your inventory gets cleared so you lose that. It could spawn baby zombie headmen. Then I'll break this one and an endermite comes out. And these are very annoying sometimes. So I have like 12 ender dragons in my head right now. Endermen can come out of it too. And if you look endermen in the eyes, they will get you. Uh, it literally like makes thunderbolt so you so it literally just kills you instantly. Lava could fall on your head. And it can be good things too. Like here it gives me a diamond sword and a whole bunch of armor. Oh, that's a good one. I got... Oh, yeah, I got the stuff. It says I'm a spawn villager at where the block was I broke. Gives me 50 emeralds. And villagers love emeralds. You can trade them stuff for emeralds. Or trade them emeralds for goods. All the sheep could turn pink. And this one, you get a diamond sword and a shield. And you get a helmet, which is an apple. A chest plate which is a baked potato and leggings at speed root so like when you get that and you look into your inventory you see just like um you wearing food and here it makes it rain pigs i'm very proud of that one and those are just some of the things that could happen this is the lucky block i customized um the lb stands for lucky block it's not stand for pounds and so this is what I am planning for it to look like, and with this you can design anything you want, and it will look like with this awful kind of green turquoise color, and then these pink stripes with the navy blue outline. If you want to see how I made it, I am this long line of code. It's not too complicated, but it's pretty complicated. And so it says when a player breaks the block, if the block is gold block, then it will pick a random number from 1 to 16. This right here just says it has to be a gold block to do that. Um, it picks a random number between 1 to 25 and see for each number it has a different thing if random equals one which so if it lands on one in the chat it says and it spawns a creeper which is basically a walking bomb a walking time bomb and like literally not metaphorically also um also it casts lightning right with the creepers and makes it a charged creeper which is more dangerous here it spawns four different creepers, and here it drops four anvil anvils onto my head and sets my game mode to survive survival, so I would potentially die. This is launched fireworks. Well, a firework, so launches a firework in the sky. I got the a couple times. This one gives you gear to fight off the giant. Gives you one diamond sword, the best sword in the game. With your left hand, it gives you a shield. So it gives you a diamond helmet, which is the best armor in the game. Diamond chest plate, diamond leggings, diamond boots. And this spawns a random amount of 1 to 20 zombies. And then the random four is spawn pink. So this is five, and it says happy birthday, and a cake spawns, but it's way up in the sky, so it's like taunting you kind of to get the cake. Uh, this gets, um, like places a diamond right in front of the player. It's, I, I got that, I think, the diamonds. So 
So it says run, and it spawns a random amount of wizards, which is a really big, bad mob that, like, is very dangerous. So it spawns a random amount of 1 to 5. It says set random to, which is this, to a 1 to 5, and so that means this will mean repeat 1 to 5 times. And it spawns at the location of the block, so it's getting where the block broke. This is a this is annoying one. If it lands on five, set player on fire for six seconds. I got I had to add that in there. There's this thing called the drone, which is basically an invisible like thing that can fly around and build stuff for you. So it fly up, it would go to you, flat fifteen blocks, oh. drop an anvil and a cow on top of your head. What sort of you need a drone to drop an anvil, so it says move drone to get location of player, because you need to get the location of player to drop the anvil so it lands on the player, and it is up by 40 blocks, and then it drops down. The drone is basically an invisible kind of machine that can place blocks and dig out blocks and such. So it will uh, go to the player, we'll move the drone left by five blocks, and move it backwards by five blocks, and it will give five arrows to the player and one bow to the player. And it will build a hollow box at the drone using glass with a width of 20, a height of 10, and a depth of 10, which spawns. 20 creepers and it casts lightning at the creepers which makes them charged and eight gives you 10 stacks of diamonds which is really good and nine clears your whole inventory which is really bad i have a whole bunch of different things that could happen and it's really fun and i bet it would be really hard to do this in like writing code but it was pretty easy because you could just drag this block out and it could do stuff and so, yeah, that's basically what it is. There's nine other possibilities, as you saw. But, um, yeah, that's all that I'm going to show you for now. So, yeah.